Hey guys, OJ Briggs here, and uh, this is a background made by Era. It's not mine, but uh, it's from DFX Pack. But I'm going to show you how to do the glow, glow overlay effect. Uh, so first, you want to pick a shape. Uh, whoops. Uh, pick circle. Uh, I mean, ellipse tool. Circle, my bad. Uh, so you want to pick a color too. I'm gonna. I'm picking red. So what you do is you mainly just create a circle. Best as you can. Like that. And you can press Control T to remodel it. Uh, what you can do with this is you can put it in the corner. Uh, so like that, maybe. So and place it there. And now you're gonna press Control J three times, which creates it again. And press Control T, and you just want to make this a bit bigger. I mean smaller. And place it. And then with this, you want to press Control T again, and make this even smaller. Now you can't really see them, so what I'm gonna do on this one, add this. Oh, maybe not that. Uh, on this one, I'll add color overlay, just to see where the circle is. Yeah, put this one right here, maybe. So just like that, uh, then I'm going to take off this, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put drop shadow on this, on all of them. Maybe around right there. And I'll do the same on the last one. Whoops. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, not really a cool effect, but it does. I think it looks cool. Um, stuff you can add to backgrounds. And, uh,. What we can also do with this is maybe if I... Uh, actually, that won't work too well, but I think it's a cool effect if you can use it in the corner as well. Uh, I recommend using different colors for all of them, but you don't have to. So, yeah, that's about it. Uh, next episode will how to be how to make a sphere in Cinema 4D and then maybe in Photoshop too. But, yeah, that's about it. Uh, subscribe, rate, comment, and like the video. Bye.